the objective of pre-production is to basically take the time to learn how to build the engine properly, get rid of concessions, get rid of unnecessary burden. I'm making sure that we have all the processes, all the procedures in place. But it's also around build optimization from a time point of view. So when we take it into the maturity and we start manufacturing it, all of the items are, are good. Big production volumes up to one a day. We need to be able to build these repeatedly and reliably. And we are confident that we can deliver the engine to the customers at the right quality level and the right time. And get them to Airbus on schedule is always going to be a challenge. We've been very pleased that the, the progress the programme has made. The engine is working well. I think it's showing that the major benefits of the high levels of investment in, in resources, in computing power, in modelling that we put in very early on in the programme are really paying dividends in that the, the product is working as intended, it's predicted to meet its level of performance by entry into service and the maturity is, is looking good on the uh, programme as well. Tremendous. Um, basically doing what it says on the tin, performing well as predicted, uh, all the test points achieved uh, to the satisfaction of the programme and uh, by the time we get to um, EIS I think we'll, uh, we'll have a lot of experience behind us. The integration activity has been a tremendous uh, success so far, tying up with Airbus, tying up with the partners, Goodridge as well, because clearly we're all closely uh, hand in glove with each other, which then optimises the design. It's a tremendous position to be in to be sole supplier, which then gives us the opportunity to really finesse the system at aircraft level. The difference between pre-production from what we've done before is it's absolutely a new way of introducing an engine to production. There's a significant difference already that the fitters have noted between this engine and the previous engines in how easy it is to put together and how well it is designed. This area is about really getting that process nailed down so that we create the same product every time. With ARNO obviously the used engines, whereas now we're trying to define a process and build in best way, best practices and getting tooling and getting the whole like design set out for everybody so the whole package is sold out there so in the best build process. And making sure that when the engine goes to test it's right and it's right first time without any hiccups. We have two engines that we're building. Our first engine is a training engine which we will use to prove all our processes and the second engine is the first engine that will go on the first compliance aircraft. The trainer engine won't fly. The trainer engine is literally an engine we've dedicated to the programme to learn how to put the engine together properly. From a production point of view, when we've done that and we've achieved all of our objectives, the engine will then be used in a similar environment but with an aftermarket mindset. So how do you rework an engine in the aftermarket? That's the next stage for the trainer engine. This is definitely the way that we are going to be introducing engines in the future and it feels good to be part of the Rolls-Royce's future.